Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. Welcome back to the video. I am filming a thrift haul. Uh, yeah, um, I lost my dog uh, three days ago, um, so I'm still kind of not in the proper routine, uh, proper filming schedule, proper everything. So I'm still I'm dealing with the emotional turmoil and grieving of losing a pet. So forgive me. I have some pre-recorded videos, but I'm also trying to do other like update you with videos that are more recent so that you're more like you know you're informed and updated and all that stuff um yesterday i went i went to one thrift store i picked up a michael kors bag a tote bag it's leather it's black it was kind of expensive it was 30 dollars um so we bought this michael kors bag for 24 dollars <clears throat> there's some darkening of the handles but we ended up selling it for 45 dollars which is pretty decent i feel like so let's see. so i used a 20 percent off coupon i think i paid ended up paying no i used one of those spend 50 dollars get 30 percent off so we got 30 percent off that purchase to a maximum of 15 dollars I think it was Ammon Deep that sent it to me. So thank you, Ammon Deep, for the coupon. And thank you for being there um, through this whole, whole ordeal and talking to me on the phone. Um, right now, she's kind of like my rock. She's the one that I'm leaning on. I am i don't have, like, in-person emotional support from anybody. And, you know, I, I, I'm just, I, I, I don't have anybody close that way. Um, but uh, it's been helpful talking to her about it. So um, she's a very good friend. And um, what I really need right now is like a hug. Like I, <laughs> that's what I really need. Like I just miss just someone to comfort you and give you a hug that everything is gonna be okay. Like it just, it hits different. And when you don't have that, it just, it, it sucks. But you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so that's what I got yesterday, and then I got a, oh, I sold that Michael Kors tote for 45 so we made like $20, $25 around there for that, so that was a good uh, flip, um, even because there's a lot of wear, not a lot of wear, there's like a lot of darkening on the handles, other, other than that, the bag was in really good condition, um, so 45 was a fair price, and I made a little bit of money, and then I bought this army jacket from Torrid, uh, it was a little bit more pricey it was $25 again use that 30% off but it didn't really fit right and I don't know I can't find my receipt so I can't even like exchange it which, su which sucks um yeah I mean I'd probably wear it if I was a little bit skinnier like it does fit but it's just not as flowy and loose as I would like it to be so I'm kind of disappointed in that and the fact that I can't exchange it kind of sucks um because that's still like $20, $20 which is still a lot of money uh, today we and so those are the two things that I got yesterday today I picked up this jacket I hope it works for me because it is from the big girl store from Pennington's $16 a lot more reasonable in my opinion and I like the length of this jacket and I love the wash of it so I'm hoping it works for me or maybe is there a way to stretch out denim um, because I haven't like that jean jacket that I wear all the time it is so toe up from the flow up it is ripping it is tearing it is just raggedy Ann and it's not even um torn and ripped chic anymore it's more like homeless chic now and you know it needs to be replaced because i've been getting my mom to just sew it because it's been ripping at the pocket and like my whole side was exposed and you know those those leggings that i wear where the whole side is exposed and one time i was wearing that jacket and daniel was like from far away and then he was like ashley your whole side is exposed because i don't wear underwear when i wear when i wear my leggings i've stopped wearing underwear i just feel it's better that way for me it feels nicer you don't have an extra layer i mean i'll still wear underwear during certain circumstances but i don't usually and then he's like how come it was like how come your side was curving and i had to explain to him that that was my gunt g-u-n-t gunt um, where like your belly fold is on the side and then because of the pat the see-through sheer paneling goes all the way up it goes over my belly and it was just embarrassing I'm like why are you even looking there like is there <laughs> it was funny though um, but yeah I'm hoping this works out for me and I like to cut the wash in the length so it's kind of long um, oh surprisingly I use my points for all this because I didn't want to spend my money because like a biatch be broke now I had to spend money on one thing that I'm going to show you at the end, which was very costly. And then 
a uh, oh, and and then like the the euthanization and the the uh, <laughs> the euthanization and the cost of cremation for my dog was expensive. That was like around four hundred dollars. So like that, I wasn't expecting that uh, that money, but obviously I you know what what I'm gonna do. You know, I have to, I have to pay it, obviously. I mean, it's cheaper if I don't get him cremated and, and then I, I don't receive the ashes, but I ain't doing that. I need him back into my home because I have my other dogs as Ashes, Jupiter and Wishbone. They have like a little shrine in my living room. So that's where Pal is going to go with them. He needs to be back with his brothers and he needs to be back with us. So, and that's expensive. So, um, but yeah. Uh, sorry <laughs> what was i saying oh yeah so yeah so that's why i use my points i know right i've been collecting my value village points since the opening of their points program and i think i got accumulated like twenty eight thousand points which means i've spent twenty eight thousand dollars ish there is double rewards day and stuff like that um so i spent maybe like twenty to twenty eight thousand dollars at value village and i decided to use it why because i've just been collecting them and they're just sitting there doing nothing so because of that uh i want and plus i wanted to do something new you know that's outside the box i've just been so focused on save points save points save points but why what if i die tomorrow and then my points go to waste hello doesn't make sense so i use my points i use i think 400 and i don't know what did i use sorry where is my receipt where did I put my receipt? I've just been losing receipts everywhere, guys. I don't know what's going on with me. Where is the receipt? Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. I lost the receipt. <laughs> did I put it in the purse? Oh, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so I ended up um, using... Okay, so these three items ended up being 20, 30, 41, 42, 44, 45, 46, 56, or something. So around like $58 or something, or f something around there. But I ended up just paying eight dollars and three cents because I claimed some rewards. So now, oh, okay, I paid forty nine hundred dollars in rewards, so that's forty nine dollars, and I ended up paying eight dollars in cash. So I still have twenty two thousand three hundred and seventy nine points, which means I still have two hundred and twenty three dollars to spend both free at Value Valley. So that's nice. Um, I've just been very like in this mindset of. I don't want to use my points. I want to save them. It's a it's a flex to have all that points. You know, you have more points than anybody else. Maybe, maybe not. But I wanted to do something new, you know, because when you're kind of like going through like a crisis or a life event, you just, you, you want to do something new to like feel different, you know, not stuck in, in the same place. Anyway, okay, we bought that. And then this I thought was cool. It's a super good size, guys. This TNA wool... Um, zip up lambs wool it's a size XL so those are like very harder size to, to get and it's from TNA and uh, this is like a coming undone a bit but that's okay you could easily like either affix that or even take it off it doesn't really matter um, it's just being held by thread anyway um, lambs wool 100% TNA XL and it has the TNA logo on the front and the back there's no holes in it which is nice there's no stains on it I looked it over there's no droopiness and number one thing there is no shrinkage that's one thing that you want to look for in these is that it hasn't been shrunken and a lot of the times people will throw this in the washer and then dry it i don't know why and then it ends up um being shrunken and this isn't it's and this is a rare size to get it's hard to get xl well i don't know actually i haven't really been an aritzia 
person in a while. So last time I was like really into her, but she was probably 2020. It's been three years. So I don't know if they cater to a lot of bigger sizes now with all the PC BS, but <clears throat> we got that. And this retailed for like 120 when they were still making it. They don't make this anymore, which I feel like helps the value. I'll usually sell that for like $80 locally. So and this bag, I want to thank Daniel because he actually found this earlier and then he hid it for me in one of uh, like a little container thing. So I was like, okay, it was actually a good price, $20.50. Um, has like some corner rubbing, but that's okay because, you know, it happens. And I love all the detail on this one where it's like you have uh, the canvas, then you have the gold trim, then you have the brown trim and the dark leather. And then it's just very interesting. It's just not your regular um, coach bag. It's factory outlet, but that's fine because they have the leather trim pieces. This is from 2011, so it is an older bag. And it's nice that it has the top handle and the cross, uh, the shoulder strap. I'm pretty confident that I can get $55 for this easily. So I'll make like $30 on it or whatever, but very good, nice bag and clean interior. But yeah, so far that's, well, that's all that we got guys. Um, I'm going to head home because I'm not, I'm, I don't have my hundred percent thrifting capabilities, uh, <laughs> yet. I'm probably a hundred percent thrifting capabilities. I'd say I'm at a 30%. I'm just not there yet to get back into the groove and get, to, get back into my routine of thrifting and reselling. Um, but I have to get back on that quick because, um, nobody else is going to pay my bills, but myself. So I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. I hope you guys are doing well. And thank you again to everybody who sent me their well wishes, their condolences, and their messages. I very much so appreciate it. Um, there's a few of you that checked up on me like the next day, which was very nice of you. I think Danielle Lepuki, Lepuk, she checked up on me the next day. Jerry, she checked up on me the next day. I, I saw the notifications. I just didn't want to ball and open the messages because I wasn't, I just wasn't, I'm not there yet. But Jerry, I know you watch the videos, so thank you. Um, I got the notification. I, I read that. Um, she said she wanted to check up on me the next day, which was yesterday, and see how I was doing. And this this guy, too, I think his Instagram name is like SNLDT or something like that. But he was very nice to, to check up on me the following day. I appreciate for, uh, all the people that checked up on me the first day and all the people that followed up the next day to see if I was okay. I really appreciate it. Um, but yesterday was not a good day for me. <laughs> it was the first day after the passing of my dog was not good. I was very, very low, very, very emotional, very, very sad, in despair, grieving. It was just not a pretty thing. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. I'll see you guys in the next one.